Yeah. So we're going to say a distribution X has a mean of 50, okay? And we've got a standard deviation of 12. Okay? Find the probability of it being between 50, the X, and the 70. Now the issue that you've got is that you're looking at tables where the mean is zero and the so the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. And the area under it is one. So we we got an X here and we actually need a Z. Right. Okay? So we're going to go the probability. Now because this is fifty and the mean is fifty because Z equals X minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. That's the actual formula that's even on the formula sheet. Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation. Okay? So that, will be there. so that's, that formula, that formula will, be will be there in the exam. So we're going back to here. So for the 50, because it's actually the mean, then this x minus the mean is going to be zero. So we don't need to divide by standard deviation because it's zero. Then instead of the x, we're going to put the z because we've made, we're standardizing. Then here we've got the 70 minus the 50 divided by the standard deviation. So I've gone the x value minus the mean divided by standard deviation. Now I've got something that I can look up in the table. So the probability of 0 being z to 70 minus 50, you can do it on the calculator, is 20 divided by 12. So it's 20 divided by 12. Uh, 1.6. 1.666, is it? Yeah, and then 7 at the end. Okay, so now we need to look that up on the table. So we go back to our table, and we're looking up 1.6. But we need to look up 1.66. So 1.66 there, 0 0.4515, yeah? Right. And then we're looking up 6 again, so that 6 was here, so we need to add 6 on to it. 5, 2, 1. So 0. 0.4521. So we've got that equals 0. 0.4521. Okay, now I can test that we've got that correct by grabbing the calculator. I can go menus, stats, and distribution, normal distribution, NCD, my low is 50, my up is 70, my um, standard deviation is 12, and my mean is 50. The probability is 0.4522, it's just a rounding error. So that's correct. Okay? Cool? And what would it look like here is um, there's your zero, there's your 1.666 is somewhere like that. So the actual probability that you're finding is that shaded area there. Okay, so this is a nice easy question because the shaded area matches the table that you're given. And I think what you'll find for achieved, they'll always give you one like that, that it actually matches this, so you don't have to do anything fancy. Does that make sense? Yeah.